Welcome everyone back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to click that subscribe button. So what do we have on the go for today? I am going to show you how to make Christmas crack or score Christmas pretzels. You can call them whatever you want to call it. They're delicious and just a few ingredients. Super quick to make and it's an all round snack slash dessert everyone's gonna love. Stay tuned for that. So let's get to it. What we're first gonna start with. So we've got our cookie sheet. You're going to need butter and sprinkles, whatever you like to top off your um, Christmas crack with. We need brown sugar. We need chocolate chips for the top layer. Unsalted crackers. Make sure they're unsalted. First thing we're going to do is line the cookie sheet with unsalted crackers. Actually, what you can do, what I'm going to attempt, because it doesn't need to be perfect, it's gonna break just because this pan is just a little bit too small for an extra cracker. I'm just gonna crack them in half. Just to speed things up, what I like to do, this has a boil on the stove, your two ingredients, the brown sugar and butter. So I am going to pre-melt the butter in the microwave until it's all melted and uh, then cook it on the stove. So right here, as you can see, we've got our melted butter. So we've got here one cup of brown sugar and one cup of butter. It's an easy combination to remember for sure. So here we go. It's pretty much ready here. And like I said, about three to five minutes, but uh, it pretty much looks like taffy at this point. Just taffy, that's what you're looking for right here. And like I said, about three to five minutes. Smell that caramel. Mmm. Mmm. So right here, we're just gonna spread evenly this mixture over your pan. And I recommend also uh, using a spatula just to get every bit out. And much less to clean in the oven. What did I say? And much less cleaning in the sink. Now here we have a couple of your crackers will float just a little. So I just press mine down with my spoon. So the caramel all comes back to the top. So you just have to spread it evenly. A definite staple to every Christmas. Gotta have Christmas crack. So in the oven, 350, we're gonna put it in. I use my own judgment. This time is actually about uh, seven minutes usually. Time to get them out. As I said, they are going to be a little scattered all over the place, so you just fix them back. I guess you really don't need to. You can do whatever you like, but I like to uh, line them back up the way that I had them so it's evenly distributed over your pan. Just like that. So the next step is to take chocolate chips. You can put vanilla. I mean, you can use white chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you want. And you can even put half and half. That's also another idea you can do. But for today, I'm gonna use dark chocolate. And we're going to use one and a half cups A 
calls for a cup and a half, but usually I like to put just a tad more. So right here, what we're gonna do is wait about five minutes approximately, and these should be uh, super easy to spread over the whole layer. And uh, then we just have the decorations. Told you it didn't take long, not long at all. I like to do, I know a lot of recipes, you don't call for it to go back in the oven, but just to speed things up again, Christmas rush, Christmas season, always a rush. I like to put it back in the, into the oven just for about one minute, no longer. So about one minute in the oven and check it out folks. It's like spreading peanut butter. And like I said again, if they start to separate a little bit, don't even worry about it. And also, like I said previously, you can also just use white chocolate with this absolutely delicious. Mmm, chocolate. Don't, don't throw this in your sink. Mmm. What I have here today have a few different kinds. I'm gonna make two different kinds actually on this one. I'm gonna sprinkle over one half this beautiful, check it out. I wanted to get, actually I'll let you know, I wanted to get some little snowflakes. I've seen those in the stores. They're super hard to find. Current situation we're in right now, it's hard to get anything. So it is uh, pretty Christmassy. I figured I'd go with this one. And the, the other half, as you can see in front of me, what I have is candy canes. So we're gonna go with candy canes on the other half. And also, you don't need, you can put half this amount. There's no certain amount that uh, you have to put on there. You could just add more chocolate chips after this comes out of the oven if you're a chocolate lover. There you have it. So the next step, this pan is still pretty odd actually. You can put it in the refrigerator for about one to two hours, or you can put it in the freezer for 20 minutes. And like I said, like to get it done quick, I'll be doing the 20 minutes in the freezer. All right, so it's time to take it out of the freezer. I actually got a little busy doing other things, so it's been about one hour. There you go, you flip it over with your parchment paper on the bottom, that just peels right off. And, uh, ooh, give it a try. Oh, that is amazing. Gotta do it. So right now I'm just gonna flip it over. And peel off. Your parchment paper, just like that. And from here on, that's all you're doing. You can put a uh, knife through it and cut it however you like, but it is called crack, so here's your Christmas crack. The other half on the other plate. But like I said, you can just crack it open, just like that. Delicious. Gotta try, it's a staple uh, dessert for Christmas time. All right, there you have it, Christmas crack. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to give it a try and stay tuned because I'll be back in a week or so with more Christmas baking in the kitchen and treats that are a must have. Thanks for watching.